So here we are, and uh, one more game is finished. Uh, it was uh, a quicker build than uh, usual, usual because, uh, as I've said in the beginning, the, it was it is supposed to be a birthday present for uh, a person. So the the time schedule that I had wasn't uh, big, so I had to move fast. The kit itself, uh, Ayoshima, I've built some of uh, Ayoshima kits and uh, I have a pretty good idea how they work and uh, how is the quality of them and uh, I'm uh, always very pleased with uh, Ayoshima kits. This one it is pretty similar to the other ones in terms of quality but uh, not everything is good. I had some problems with the, the side windows, but I was kind of expecting it because Ayoshima works a bit like uh, Tamiya, so the tolerance you have between parts is not uh, very big. So, in the case of the side windows, when you paint the body, while uh, putting primer, paint, uh, clear coat, etc. You build up the layers and uh, the slot where the side window fits will get uh, smaller and smaller. So when attaching the, the side window it wouldn't fit, uh, how do I say, comfortably. So I had to put some pressure on it but uh, Nothing that uh, some masking tape wouldn't uh, get it done. So this is one of the concerns you you wanna think while building this kit. Another one that I had, and uh, honestly I wasn't expecting it, were the this side skirts, this lower part of the side of the car. Uh, it has two pins and uh, two slots in the body where they fit together. And uh, the part didn't go quite well when uh, fitting the side uh, skirt into the body using those pins. So I had to twist the body a little bit and uh, it happened with both sides, so it's not uh, some random problem. I had to, to twist the side skirts a little bit so they would fit properly in its place. Another thing, and uh, honestly, I don't know if it was something related to me or to the kids, but uh, here in the tail lights, let me see if I can show you a little better. Okay, so we have the tail lights here, and uh, be below we have this uh, rear grille, the uh, rear bumper, and the uh, rear diffuser. These are all separate parts, and uh, this is a chrome part that is supposed to go on top of the tail light. I don't know if it is to reflect something else or not. But the thing is, if you put this chrome part on top of the tail light, this one should be on this side, on the, the uh, left tail light, then uh, you wouldn't have enough space to attach all the other parts. What I mean is, it goes something like this, then the tail light goes underneath and then all the, the other sections. So if I put this chrome part, it wouldn't just uh, fit anything else, there wasn't enough space to put all the other parts. So I discarded this chrome part and uh, 
went and uh, assembled all this uh, rear section <coughs> without that chrome part. But again, I don't know if it was some mistake that I've made or it, it is an optional part, I, re I really don't know. So this thing, if you've built this kit and you you were able to assemble this chrome part, please let me know because I, I couldn't figure it out. So I think this covers all the uh, small problems that I encountered no big deal and as you can see I was able to to go around them now the good things we have uh, the engine let me put it a little better we have the engine that uh, looks pretty good and uh, it's really very simple to to assemble there's I don't know, maybe no more than a, a dozen parts for it, so uh, it's pretty straightforward and you, in the end you get a very nice looking engine. I mean, Ayoshima kits have pretty good detail, you won't be able to see, but uh, the interior itself is very, very good and very detailed. I mean, the uh, color scheme that I had to make uh, isn't the best for uh, seeing all these details, but I, I can guarantee you they, that they are there. So, this is it, the uh, Lamborghini Huracan from uh, Ayoshima. Very nice kit and uh, very well priced. It's uh, priced at, uh, I don't know, mid-range Tamiya kit and uh, it looks fantastic in the end I, I, I recommend that if you have, haven't already that you try to build one of these Ayoshima kits I want to get my hands in the Pagani one of these days and uh, I'm expecting big things from it so but for now Lamborghini is done and ready to go to its owner and uh, I'll see you guys later, take care.